Growing your garden a unique tour today highlights Sacramento's urban farms. The event kicked off the third day of the Sacramento Food Film Festival organized by the Food Literacy Center. Three urban farms were part of this tour, all of it done to help educate the public ahead of a Sacramento City Council vote next week, considering new laws to support urban farming. And we are joined now by Amber Scott, Executive Director of the Food Literacy Center. I know you have a busy day, but Amber, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so tell us a little bit about your organization. What's the mission behind the Food Literacy Center? Our mission is simple. It's to inspire kids to eat their vegetable. Um, and through the Sacramento Food Film Festival, we're trying to educate the broader community. And urban gardening, um, I understand it's a big trend here in our region. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, urban farming actually is one of the biggest um, growing hobbies. And in terms of taking it from gardening to farming, that's a big commitment. And so we're really hoping that folks will turn out and support uh, the ordinance that the city council will be voting on next week that will hopefully expand the amount of urban farming that folks can do in their yards and then also sell that produce um, and make a little money. And you're taking a little pit stop here from your garden tour, and it's connected to tonight's event at the Sacramento Food Film Festival. Tell us about that connection. Yeah, we're here at McClatchy Park. We've got a live band. We're going to be showing some food film shorts, and we've got some food trucks. It's going to be a great time. We believe that education should be fun. So we're trying to educate the community about the ordinance, about how great urban farming can be for the community, and um, hopefully folks will come out, learn a little bit, and then take action. All right, sounds like a great event. Amber Scott, Executive Director of the Food Literacy Center, thanks for your time. Thank you for having me.